Today we are doing a taste test of some Japanese snacks. We're gonna be trying a couple of Japanese snacks that we found in the grocery store. We're gonna be rating them and telling you what we think of each. So keep on watching and I think you'll be in for some laughs. Hey everyone, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And normally you see my mom here when we're doing taste test videos, but today we have my best friend, Lindsay. Hello. So Lindsay and I went to the grocery store. We picked out some Japanese snacks that we figured we were gonna try. And we're gonna taste them in front of you right now and give you some ratings of what we think are the best snacks from the Japanese section at the grocery store. We could start with, Lindsay, you can pick. So we have some soft soda flavored gummy candy an actual soda, or this every burger, and I really wanna save this one for last. So we're gonna put this one off to the side okay. for now. So what should we try first, what do you think? Well, I feel like we should separate the soda and the soda candies. Agreed. Agreed. So maybe candies first? Okay. I keep wanting to call these pop candies because we live in the Midwest, mm. but you are from Colorado and you yell at me when I say pop. Well, pop is just an onomatopoeia. <laughs> Pop is just an onomatopoeia. <laughs> okay, so there seems like there's two different types of soda. Cola or ramune soda. Okay, what oh, are the- Oh, oh, that's yes. what this is, ramune soda. Okay, so what do you wanna try first? You try one and I'll try the other and then we'll, we'll switch. I'm super intrigued to see if the cola tastes like Coca-Cola. Here's a fun fact for you viewers. I have never once in my entire life had a Coca-Cola. So I have no idea if it will taste the same. Don't you have family that lives in Atlanta? I do. That's where it's like the factory is and all of it. Yeah, I just don't like pop. And, uh, <laughs> and so so I just have never had it before. So do you want to try the cola flavor or the brand new soda flavor? First? I want to try the blue one first. Okay, sounds good. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna try the cola one. Okay, so mine is brown with white stripes and yours is white with blue stripes. And there's like little Elements Pockets. of flavor running through the middle. But it's kind of gooey, like a Laffy Taffy. Yeah, or like a Starburst. That's Good exactly analogy. what it's like. It's like a Starburst. Okay, ready? ready? Go. It's very hard to chew. My mouth can't, oh, oh, oh. There, I got some flavor. flavor. Things came out, look. Oh, it got all flavor. <laughs> so careful. Wow, how did you get that? Okay. Feel that. Well, I can try, tie a cherry thing with my tongue, so I just got skills. Okay, so I have a, oh, I got one too. You just pop right out? Yeah, but then I crunched on it before I could show you. Mine tastes like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher, oh. but with bubble gum hints to it. I really don't love pop flavor, so. Cause it's like something new that you don't have often, but that's weird cause it should be like a little treat. I think I'm ready to try this, right, cheers. this new flavor, cheers. Okay, I already like this flavor better. It tastes like Coca-Cola. I think we need to go to something that's not the soda flavor. Oh, I said soda. Are you proud? I'm very proud of your soda. So that we can come back to the soda afterwards. So right, these so what ones, got? burger shaped chocolate filled cookies. We just thought that they were fun. Although they kind of look like Krabby Patties. <laughs> they kind of do look like <laughs> Krabby Patties. I am hoping that they are like Oreos because Whoa. I just love. Do you think that's supposed to look like a mouth? Oh, maybe. Yeah, they've got so. like a little burger man on there and inside it says every burger because that's the name of the candy. Also Japanese. Do you think he looks excited or angry? He's going like this. Yeah. He I could think be he... going like this. Angry or excited? excited. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with excited because he wants us to eat his his every burger. I'm thinking he might be hangry and now he's going to have burgers <laughs> to make himself feel better. Oh, are they packaged like Oreos? No, they're not. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Look at that. Look at all those sesame seeds. How did they get the coloring so good? I don't know. They even have like little shadowing around the sesame seed. It's kind of like perfect. Flavoring? So it's some like chocolate Oreo. and perhaps some white chocolate in there too. <gasps> oh, yeah. it is a double duty. It looks like that. <laughs> double duty. <laughs> Let's try these. Ready? Go. I'll have the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be eating really these good. in the park later. Oh, that's a really good. Tastes like Nutella Ooh. chocolate. That's a good descriptor. It does taste like Nutella chocolate. And these things are like kind of crunchy on top. They it are. tastes like little shortbread cookies. <gasps> nice. 
but they're so small so it doesn't get your mouth dry like the other shortbread cookies. Yeah, exactly. Whenever we do these taste testings, I love trying all the foods from Japan, which is why I thought this one was gonna be so fun mm -hmm. because they always have such fun packaging and like all the details on the snacks mm -hmm. are so fun to look at. So this, I mean like 10 on 10 presentation, love the taste too. And this one looks more like their character dude. <laughs> they're, um, they're a free burger. Okay. Pretty accurate. So do you think if you were a kid in Japan and your parent was like, you must eat healthy, you could be like, I am, I'm eating burgers. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna try this ramyun pop slash soda. We picked out the lychee flavor, which is like a fun little pinkish fruit. And I'm kind of excited because we already tried the ramyun flavored uh, candy and now we're having ramyun flavored drink. So we can see if it actually tastes like how the candy tastes. We'll see how good they did with the candy. Oh my Ooh, goodness, yeah. no way. Does this pop on it? And it's like, oh man, this is probably one of those fun things. Like, you know, the Kool-Aid jammers that are just fun to drink out of. I bet I this is their version. a Kool-Aid jammer. <laughs> There's no way. Like those! Oh, see? Oh, a yeah. Kool-Aid jammer. Kids used to have those at lunch and camps and stuff, but right, they're like, like fun to drink out of. You think this pops on and makes it like a jammer? Maybe, we gotta figure out how to open it. Yeah, I just never, I just always like only drank water as a kid. How to open, oh, how to open. There's instructions. That's important. Peel off seal, we did that, and sure. lift off green cap. Got it. Push down the center to release opener. Center, maybe that center? Oh yeah, push down that center. Okay, cool. And now it's, oh, it's nothing like a Kool-Aid jammer. Place opener on top of the bottle and press down firmly with your palm for five seconds to dislodge the stopper. Really? One, Whoa. two. <laughs> <gasps> oh, wow. How does it? Cheers. Bottoms up. Just kidding. You could just take a sip. Oh, it's very sweet. It is very sweet. Have it's you ever not overly carbonated. No, which I like. I actually, mm -hmm. I enjoy this a lot more than I enjoy typical American pop because it's not nearly as carbonated as ours is and that's why I don't like it mm -hmm. normally. And it's not an overbearing flavor. Okay, so last thing. I want to save this one <laughs> until the end because I think it's going to be so fun for us to put together. Right. So it's a poppin' cookin', poppin cookin sushi box. So it's candy sushi, but we have to make the candy together. We can do this. With water. Now, do you normally like regular sushi that's not candy flavored? Uh, yeah. I never used to, but these days it's been growing on me. Wow. Yeah. I started now off- Now you're an expensive date. <laughs> I started off small with like California roll, but I'm getting more adventurous at the time. Oh my goodness, is it coming from? Look, that's a stencil. That is so considerate of them. Oh. <laughs> Wait, don't put the box away. It has oh, the instructions. Oh yeah, we need the instructions on the box. But without okay. looking at the instructions, what do you think everything is? Okay, so the inside, there's like little pieces. That would be seaweed. Yep. And um, maybe this is the fish? Yeah, the salmon. Yeah. So first step, fill the oval depression, one, with water, then add blue powder from the blue packet. Add water to the line on the side in the spiral section, and add powder from yellow packet. All right, now we gotta make the tuna. Add water up to line in wavy section, then add powder from red packet. Oh my goodness, look at how they're adding the water. Oh! oh. With this thing! This is why I'm These are like IKEA instructions. instructions. Okay, here you can add the powder inside. Oh wait, all of it? Yeah. Mix, spread, and flatten. Do you think this is like a Japanese Easy Bake Oven kind of equivalent? Maybe, but maybe but they no have something easy bake like ovens. an easy bake. Maybe they have something like easy bake oven, but this is kind of like it. It's like a full experience about making your food first. When you do the United States of America, are you gonna do an easy bake oven? I, I used to love mine. Okay, uh, wait three minutes until firm. We'll move on to the next step. Make dried seaweed. Spread out the black candy to match the size and shape on the package pouch. And that's this. Oh my gosh, I thought there were gonna be like two steps. Oh, no way, Jose. Wait. I told you in the grocery store. Oh. I feel like that's a lot of steps for a taste test and you said, I feel like it's fun. Do you recall? That I do recall that, 100%. I'm spreading this out with my fingers. Can I touch it? Yeah. Feels like Play-Doh, honestly. Oh, but what's that smell? It's like a oh. berry, no. Give me some more. No, that's um um when you had to take medicine as a kid, the cherry flavor. No, not cherry. Oh, like grape. 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 Yeah, grape. it's the fake grape flavor for medicine. But not the fake grape flavor from candies, because those are different. 
I'm not doing a very good job at making Would this. you like a rolling pin? I think that's good. I think that's very beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God, all this work, are we only making one roll? I think so, we're gonna have to split it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make the salmon row. Add water up to lines on sides in section A and B. Add powder from the green packet to section A. Patience is not a virtue I possess. Add powder from the orange packet to section B. Mix well. Use dropper to slowly add mixture B to mixture A. I would say I'd suggest if you're doing this like with kids and stuff, they all need their own individual one. Yeah. Okay, this one, so freaking cool. So fun. That one is my favorite one to make and I love it. I know, and a little, the way you drop it in. Yeah, that was cool. All right, um, well, do you think they all taste the same or do you think they all taste different? Let's take one bite of each one of them. Okay. Well, like each flavor. Okay. So this is the salmon roll. Really fun to make. <laughs> I don't think I would choose to eat it, but I would definitely make it again. It's very liquid jello-y. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um. <laughs> okay, here, let's just try just try the omelet part because we already tried the rice. It kind of feels like a banana texture. Okay, this is the most exciting one. You're gonna feed it? <laughs> yeah. All of it? Okay, Lindsay, everything taken into account, experience, taste, just like overarchingly. Give Preparation. Me, yeah, least favorite to favorite. Least favorite would be the, probably the candy gummies. The third is gonna be the soda. Second will definitely be the candy sushi. And number one, most definitely, are my hamburgers. Okay, I normally rate mine separate because my mom and I end up being different, but that's exactly my order too. Um, yeah, I would rate this maybe further to the bottom if it was just taste, but making it was so much fun mm -hmm. that I feel like you just gotta do it. Even if you don't love the taste, you gotta try making it. Thanks well, so much for having me on. You're welcome, it was really fun, and I'm excited to like to look back on these videos in a long time too, and we could be like, look how, look how young we were and how we tried that candy. <laughs> All right, if you guys want to see any other taste testing videos, I have a couple on my YouTube channel already and they're all really fun to watch, so go ahead and check those out too. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week and I will see you next week. Bye! Bye.